Welcome to the show that's cooler and fly too. A1 Forever Sports. I am Chris Tip Moore coming to you to let you know that the Oregon Ducks took on the Georgia Bulldogs today. And all I have to say is, them Bulldogs back. You see them dogs too wild. Took them boys down 49 to 3. Some of the champs look very, very comfortable. Or should I say Stetman, Stetson Bennett looked very, very comfortable. Way more comfortable in the offense than he did last season, if I do say so myself. Um, the running backs, McIntosh, lost James Cook, lost um, Zaire White. Guess what? McIntosh looking like he may be the best uh, pass catching running back out the backfield in game one. Now, I don't want to jump or two ahead of myself because just like Kobe, uh, dang, I don't want to jump too ahead of myself because just like Coach Smart said, we don't even know how good these dogs are going to really be. Great start, though. I enjoy seeing it. I want to see more from it. Great tenacity, great athleticism on both sides of the ball. The dogs look poised, but again, this is just one week, and I don't want to jump too ahead of the game just because I'm a I'm a dogs fan and also just being a realist, you know. So still a long season. We have a lot to look forward to. And you know, next week is going to be another week to test out what the dogs have on both sides of the ball. Again, I can't wait to see what this team has. I can't wait to see Stetson Bennett and his second year of a true starting role, you know, knowing for a fact that this is his team, knowing for a fact that there is no one right over his shoulder, knowing for a fact that there is no one coming back from injury that he'll have to relinquish the job to. He can fully focus on himself. And honestly, when you can focus on self and not others, you can get more done. And that's what Bennett did today. Also, um, tying his uh, completions in a half and everything too. And Stetson, he did great. The, the running backs did great. Uh, four running backs all scored uh, from the Georgia Bulldogs side of things. So it was a rotational thing going on. McIntosh again, nine catches out the backfield for 117 yards. Not a score, but he did have a rushing touchdown. So the dogs, you know, on both sides of the ball, the defense really getting after them, holding these Oregon Ducks to three points in Dan Landing's head coaching debut. Uh, still shout out to Dan. Thank you for everything you did at Georgia. But you already know the dogs had to put their foot down. And the Ducks just had to walk away or waddle, however you want to look at it. But great win by the Georgia Bulldogs. I enjoyed every minute of the game, even though it was a blowout and the game was really over at halftime. I enjoyed watching the backups coming in, getting some reps. Uh, you know, uh, Beck, he got in at quarterback, got some reps when uh, Bennett went ahead and sat down. And actually, um, he only missed like one path. I think he went five for six. So he had also, you know, some, some production as well. Uh, good win, dogs. This is just me, um, honestly, just stepping into the college football world as it's about sports and I'm all about elevating and elevating myself and becoming more of a man of value in this sports world. So I will be taking on more um, college football takes and everything as well. We'll be checking out more of these players so I can bring content to you guys, to uh, my subscribers who who uh, give so much of their time to watch my videos. And I really appreciate every last one of you guys. Swear to God, I do. Um, also, I have some more things coming out. We'll be diving into some fantasy football. Yes, um, plan to give week, weekly content 
as far as fantasy football goes, because football is back, man. So it's time for this fantasy football. I know fantasy basketball goes on as well, but I will be first to tell you, I have never played fantasy basketball. So fantasy football, I'll be going over some things, you know, maybe some players that's dropped off, maybe some players that you should pick up and everything. So look for that. That's coming very, very soon. And other than that, until next time, be generational because it's always time to be. A1 Forever Sports, Cool and Fly 2, Chris Tip Moore, Why Settle for Less, where you can have more with the vision. Always put I am and I will in your statements and take away trying because trying is a very bad word to still associate with when you're on the road for achieving your goals. So with that being said, I'll holler. A1. 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 Yeah. Truly. Cooler and I'm flying to. Damn. Damn. Cooler and I'm flying to.